be baking braised red cabbage and these are some recipe like some butter, some brown sugar, onions and uh, diced apples. That's your mise en place? Yeah, sir. Your mise en place is ready and your recipe is ready to go. And uh, you got vinegar. What else you can uh, have? We have something? butter, brown sugar, yeah. onions, diced apples, and some cabbage. Okay, let's ready to cook. Yes. Yeah, good. Uh, we are making the braised red cabbage. For that, I just mix the cabbage with some butter, with some chopped onions, and afterwards I'll put some vinegar and just cover it with the blade. And uh, after that, I'll. Uh, uh, pull out all the cabbage and just put it in the microwave. Okay, okay. So you're basically cooking until it's get tender. Yeah, so the main ingredient is a cabbage. Okay, excellent. I'm making, uh, making braised red cabbage. Like I just added the diced apples. And now I just cook for some minutes so it gets like some taste. What's your dish today? Uh, mango coolies. Mango coolie. All right, that's right. That means a, a mango desert. Yeah? Yes. So what are the ingredients that you got? Uh, we have fried mango and uh, fresh orange juice, fresh lemon juice, honey, old spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, and everything. Very nice, excellent. Let's ready to do that. Uh, so we're making lasagna. We've got uh, onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, carrots, mushrooms, some herbs, butter, and so we're just going to make a bolognese sauce first, and then. Uh, layer it with the lasagna. Awesome. Okay. In this side, I can see the lasagna sheets are being uh, prepared from the scratch. Yes. Yeah. You guys yeah. are making the lasagna sheet. What's the uh, recipe for the uh, the sheets? We got 200 grams of flour and then two eggs. Then we whisk it, like added it, yeah. and we knead it and roll it in. This excellent. Excellent. Good job. Wow. Perfect. We are uh, blanching the lasagna sheets, so we are cooking it, but to only 80%. Okay, that's great. So anyway, these sheets are going into the oven. oven well. Okay, all right, excellent. So we're just putting some seasoning. All right, the bolognese sauce you are just making uh, with a uh, lot of flavor. A lot of. It's a vegetarian bolognese. A vegetarian bolognese with a lot of vegetables and uh, just getting the taste right right now. All right, awesome, good. All right, we have another team preparing some special dish. What you're making? So we're making the chicken kozome today. Very nice. So we got the mise en place ready here. Oh, awesome. It has the uh, strips ready. Yeah. And shaved strips. This is a finely chopped. Oh, right. This is a finely chopped celery. This is a finely chopped carrots. We have eggs ready and we have chicken mince ready. Excellent. You're the champions. All right. We're gonna Are make... you going to make the chicken stock or you have already got the chicken stock? Yeah, we got the chicken stock. All right. Very good. So let's see how they're going to make the chicken consomme. And we have now what you have done? We have organized the mise en place. Yeah. And we have mixed the chicken with the egg whites. All right. And now we are going to cook the chicken cooking. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, guys. Now we are going to make a white sauce. What are you going to make? White, white sauce. sauce. <laughs> white sauce is very important for you to understand. First time, melt the butter. So when you are making white sauce, you need to make a white roux. Roux is equal quantities of fat and flour. 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of butter. 200 grams of flour, 200 grams of butter. butter. So equal quantity. So I got 100 grams of flour. First I melt the butter in low heat and then you add the uh, flour and knead it and mix it, right? Mix it slowly. You're never gonna burn it. So in that case, you need to control the heat lightly and make it uh, like a paste, paste, okay? So slowly you do it. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. That's the mixture. It's called white roux. If you cook it for a longer period of time, it will become a blonde roux. Like the Aussie girls say, they are blonde. Yeah. Their skin is blonde. If you make, furthermore, like you and I, brown roux. Brown roux. That means the time differs the color of the roux. If you are making a brown sauce, you need the brown roux. If you are making a white sauce, you need the white, white roux. Very easy, right? But remember, you need to cook the butter and flour Otherwise, the flour taste comes. The butter taste and the flour taste doesn't uh, uh, mix together until you cook it, right? You cook it for about, I would say, 100 grams, about three, four minutes, but you're not gonna burn it, right? Make sure in the low heat you're cooking, and once you cook, it has to come like this, not the watery, not the creamy, alrighty? It has to be like this, nicely you're mixing, okay? Now, once you cook it, it gets heat. So you can't add the uh, you can't add the milk when it's hot. 
what you can do is you need to take out from the heat like this. Take it out from the heat, leave it here for about 30 seconds or one minute, and then you slowly add the butter or add the milk, right? You add the milk slowly. Have a look at this, have a look at this. Look at that. You add the milk and mix it with a wooden spoon on a certain stage. Have a look at it, yeah, nice. And you are not, not gonna curdle them, not gonna make the lumps. That is important, not gonna make the lumps. Look at that. Now, when you come into this stage, you simply say goodbye to the wooden spoon and then you get the whisk. whisk. With a whisk only you need to do it, otherwise it gets the lumps. Look at that, look at that. Hold it for a minute. Look at that. You never let the lumps to form. Look at that, look at that. Can you do that for me please? I'll add the milk. Yeah, faster. There we go, look at that, the white sauce. Now this is not in the fire. Take it out from the fire and do that. Remember, if you do it in the fire, it gets curdled. You have to be smart to make a white sauce. Now how much, uh, how much milk you add? Maybe for 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of butter, you can add about one and a half liter of milk. Right? Yeah, it's huge. Because then only you go and straight to the, keep it in the fire, low heat. Then what will happen? The milk get heated up and milk get heated up and same time the thickness develop. The, uh, the creaminess, thickness will be developed. Alright? Water now. And you might think this is not thick. And you never add salt and pepper into this. Because white sauce is the base. It's the base. You never add the salt and pepper into this. You make some dish, then only you add the salt and pepper. And you can put a bay leaf. You know what the bay leaf is? It's a herb. You add the bay leaf and same time if you want to get the flavor, you get a uh, big onion, the large onion and insert some cloves and put this into there, yeah, then you get the flavor, but not salt and pepper. You are ready to go? Right, look the at the white sauce. Show me the thickness of it. Alright, very nice. Beautiful white sauce. Yeah, soup. We got the chicken. Can you get the chicken for me? Yeah, come this side, come this side. All right, we got the chicken, minced chicken. Hang on, come here, guys. Yeah. We got the chicken and uh, the dices, Bruno also vegetable and season them and add with the egg white. Why we add the egg white? To bind them. So we bind them and then we add a little bit of uh, butter and oil. And when the butter and oil is hot, you simply add them into the bottom of the pan. Once you add that, you never mix it. What will happen if you mix it? It get curdled. We don't want to get this curdled. We want to make this as a bunch. Okay? Make it as a bunch, then slowly add the stock into that. Then what will happen? When you keep that in the slow fire, all the flavors of the chicken goes to the stock. You understand? So we're going to make a nice uh, chicken consomme out of this chicken. That's uh, chicken consomme. your bolognese sauce even better yeah so good smells great nice aroma and after a while uh, we are ready to assemble our lasagna yes yep. assemble a lasagna lasagna is very popular if you go to europe italy or any part of the europe middle east any part right lasagna is very popular it's like a pizza pasta uh, lasagna is a mixture of uh, vegetables meat uh, cheese and so many other things since you most of you are vegetarians come over get closer get closer some of your vegetarians are making a vegetarian lasagna so we make the nice uh, mixture of the vegetable and of course the, we make the white sauce everything is done okay right now only we are gonna assemble it make sure that your hands are clean and first you're gonna give a base base means give me a, a knife as well uh, this is the base this is the base, right? On the base, we are adding a lasagna sheet. Remember, we have we have boiled this for 80%. Give me a knife, mate. Come on. Yeah. 90% or rather 80% we have boiled that, right? So we cut them according to the edge of the, uh, the bottom or the size of the pan, right? There we go. And keep the uh, corner. Do we have corner ones? Maybe we can have a corner from here. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. Okay, there we go. And we can use this part like this, right? This is your bottom, okay? So when you've done the bottom, 
I'll give you first layer so that you can continue exact way that I'm gonna do. And when you remember, when you have this quantity, make sure that you need to keep for each layer. You're not gonna fill one layer too much and the next layer less, right? Make sure you need to divide them for all the layers. Look at that. Have a look at it. Have a look at it, everyone. There we go. This is one layer, right? Make sure all the edges are filled. Yeah, all the edges are filled. It's very easy, right? And then you add the uh, white sauce. Look at that. Very easy. Anybody can do it. Ah, oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. There we go. If you have the palette knife, that's easy. Do you have the palette knife there? You know what the palette knife is? Yeah, the palette knife. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You can use a palette knife and slowly mix it up. Look at that. Slowly mix it up. And make sure, make sure you have enough quantity for all the layers, right? There we go. Right? That's it. And then what you're going to do is you add the cheese. Oh, look at that. Cheese. Yeah? That's mixture of uh, cheddar cheese and uh, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, mozzarella gives the, the elasticity. Uh, consistency and the cheddar gives you the flavor and the uh, consistency as well. This is one layer. Easy. You like to do the second layer, my friend? Come on. Let's do the second layer. Same as I did. See? It's easy. You have a nice paper like this. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go with my friend. Come on. Yes. The second layer. Beautiful. Nice. Cover. Excellent. Give a little, uh, maybe you can cut into two. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Cut into two and fill it up. That's how you do it. So you need to understand every layer has to add a little bit of flavor, right? Add the same flavor, right? Like you do that I did at the first uh, layer. Same as you need to do that uh, each layer. See? Wow. Beautiful. Yeah? Now you're learning. Now, this one we made with the vegetable, but you can make with beef lasagna, uh, chicken lasagna, seafood lasagna. But uh, basically you can add some vegetables into every layer but this is purely vegetable and tomato based but if you want to add some uh, seafood or a chicken or a beef you can do the same. See that's it. It's only two layers are done. You can have more layers. That's it. Ah, there you go. Slowly add the white sauce. Make sure you make the white sauce and the uh, vegetable mixture prior to assembly. That's it. Nice. Slowly. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Excellent. Have a look at it. Come. Have a look at this one. Yeah, you're mixing them. A little bit more into this side. A little bit. Not too much. Yeah, into this side as well. In this corner. Done. And corner it up. And then you add the cheese. <sighs> Creamy, yeah? So when, it, when it's put in the oven, the cheese, white sauce, everything will get heated in together and make a nice combination like a cake. Like a cake, yeah? A little bit more cheese. Make sure that you add enough cheese to cover it. Yeah. Beautiful. You want to do another layer? Because you need a hard time to make this one. You, want, you can come here. Come here. Don't go away. Come here. It's all yours. There you go. You're doing another layer. There you go. That's it. She made the white sauce, so and of course she taken a. No, I didn't. No, you made the the cheese. cheese. You made the cheese. I made a mistake. Okay. She made the cheese, uh, the the lasagna lasagna sheets from the scratch. Yes. What's the recipe for this one? If you wanna um, tell the others, those who are watching. Oh, that's uh, we took two hundred grams of uh, plain While you're doing, while then, you're doing. Oh, no, I'm not from. It's alright. You can do it. 200 grams of flour and then how many eggs? Two eggs. Then we like knead it. After that, we roll it in the like the machine we got from here. Yes. So after that, we boiled <coughs> the water, a bit of olive oil with salt in it. Very nice. Then we blanch the lasagna sheets Sheet. in it. And then now only you assemble. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Now you can see everybody and learn the the basics. Learn the, the, the way of doing it, method of preparations. That's what you need to learn from Certificate 3 in uh, Acumen College. So once you go into the trade, you can practice. But if you want to practice at home, you can do that, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Yeah, look at that. So this is going to be the final layer. You can see that she's adding uh, all the, uh, the vegetable mixture into the, uh, uh, the lasagna without leaving a little. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You got the cheese here. Before that, you need to add the white sauce. Make sure you get the white sauce enough. Yeah, scrape it out. Scrape it out. Scrape it out. Yeah. Scrape it out all the white sauce. And then you add into the final layer. Beautiful. There we go. You can use this one if you want. Yeah. So, who wants to make a lasagna at home? Anybody wants to try it at home? Yes? Yeah, very good, very good. They want to try at home as well. Yeah, all the students. Now we are making a few dishes today. The the vegetables, uh, the, what are the fruits and farinaceous dishes, right? That's the uh, unit name. So we are uh, we just made uh, mango coolie. You made the mango coolie and uh, you guys are making uh, consomme. They are making the consomme and this is the lasagna. And uh, what you make? Uh, the braised cabbage. So you can see the plenty of dishes they are making in a short period of time and they are getting the hands on training. Look at that. Okay, you can go with the cheese on top. There we go. That's it. So see how she's getting uh, finished lasagna. Beautiful. All right, let me do a chain. Let me do a chain. Let me put this on top and then you put the cheese for a chain. Because on top then it's become a nice layer, right? So it's a bit of a change, but you can try in a different way. Can we have more cheese? I want to cover the top with the cheese. Get some more cheese. There we go. You can see in front. Oh yeah. Nice. All right. Hang on. Now, now what we're going to do is, we're going to strain our consomme. Consomme is a clear soup. You know about it, right? Consomme is a clear soup. Make sure that consomme has no cloudy effect, no pieces. Right? That's why we didn't want to mix it. We didn't want to mix the soup because what will happen if we mix it? It's get cloudy. Right? Now we made a nice uh, uh, chicken consomme. Now we're gonna strain it. Here we go. Here we go. Slowly and steadily. Hold it nicely. Get closer. Get closer. 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 Slowly. Yeah. Without breaking the pieces. This is a very nourishing soup and very uh, uh, nutritious. Right? Very flavorful. This is ideal for lactating mums, lactating mums and even for, <laughs> I would say, uh, 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 sick people, uh, people who uh, get uh, more protein, they, they need ideally this one. Look at that. Old people. Wow. Can you get the soup ladle? That's it. That's it. Hang on. Okay. Now you can see, now you can see all the pieces. This is the chicken pieces, the minced chicken with the vegetables. All the flavor of these ones gone into uh, this one, right? So now you can see. All right, can we have the soup ladle? Uh, look at that. Look at that uh, consomme. It's very nice, yes, neat, beautiful. So, here we go, nicely. Now you can see there's not much oil. Yeah, go ahead. There's not much oil in there. There's a slight oil on top, but it's all right as long as the flavor is given. And it's not cloudy. The color is perfect. That's enough. Not to put too much, right? You're, you're serving one portion. And the moment you serve, you need to hand over or rather serve to the guests. Nice. Beautiful. And this is the garnish. You want to add the garnish? A julienne of... You want to add the garnish? Julienne of carrot and leeks. Very slightly. You add it on top. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Look at that. Nice. Can you help to portion? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. That is how you need to do it. There you go. Excellent. Good job. There you go. Now you know how to make a consomme, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. That's amazing. All right. In the meantime, you can see the lasagna. Look at that. Whoa! Straight from the oven. Beautiful. Ha ha ha. Nice. We can take the lasagna. Be careful. Give a hand. Give a hand. Excellent. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a beautiful lasagna. Yeah. Awesome. 
Nice. Awesome. Good job. Look at that. You take this out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. You're cutting there. Lasagna. Can I have the spatula? Get the spatula for me. A big one. Make sure you cut the edges firmly. And we're cutting into four. These are big pieces. Oh, hang on. Maybe we cut into six. Look at that. One, two. Yeah, she, needs to, she made it. You ready this, right? Would you like yeah, to come from this side? Yeah. Yeah. Can we have more plates? More plates, guys. Yeah, more plates. Plate here. Look at that. Get the spatula. Come over. Come, both of you. Have a look at it. There we go. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that. Beauty, huh? Scrumptious. Very, very. That is one portion. Can you put a little bit of a? Garnish on top. Done. Okay. You want to do another one? Come on, let's do another one. You want to do another one? Look at that, look at that. Hey. Slowly. Hey. Whoa. Now. Beautiful. Don't miss it. You need to keep it nicely. Now see this one. You need to keep it, otherwise, you can't do like that. You need to keep it nicely. Take another one, my friend. Do another one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one, softly. Hang on. Softly taken it, right? Softly without breaking it. But before you lift it up, make sure the, this edge is done. Hang on. Before you take it out, make sure this end is done. And and this end is done as well. Right? Okay. So softly. Okay, take it. There we go. Nice. Oh. Beautiful. All right. Okay, let's portion the other ones. Come. People who are hiding. People who are hiding. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Let's do it. I want you to portion it and learn. Learn learn the portioning. Come on. Are you done? Come. Yeah, please come. Please. Yes. Put it, put it full. Yeah. Lift it up. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Be Hang on, slowly, slowly. Ah, oh, like you're keeping a baby. See? Ah. Oh. There you go. See the beauty of it. And clean the edges, please. And put some garnish. Clean the edges. Clean the edges, see? Please add garnish to the edges. Yes, chef. <laughs> Sir, now looking good. Yeah, I know. It is looking good. Okay. Who wants to portion this? Take care. Take it. 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 Take <laughs> oh, come on, become a reality. I mean, if you go for a restaurant, four point five degree. Four point five degree. Depending on the restaurant. Same four point five degree. 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 Four Nicely, right? Better than earlier, right? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very much. <laughs> All right, guys. Today we made the uh, the fruits, uh, egg, uh, vegetable, and farnishes dishes. Now we made uh, four dishes: braised cabbage. Lasagna and also uh, beef consomme and uh, of course uh, mango curry as well and the braised cabbage as well. Now, how do you like this or how do you learn this one? Did you learn something today? Yes. 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 Did you understand? Especially, did you understand making consomme and lasagna? Yes. Yeah. And uh, of course the mango curry as well. 
So this is something that you need to learn in hands-on training. They have got a very good understanding about the uh, unit as well as these dishes and of course the detail how you uh, prepare each dish. It's a good day at practicals, isn't it? Yes. yes.